Vicki Hartzler's office. Do you have to speak with me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Bob Brewer, and I'm calling from Representative Louis Gohmert's district in East Texas. I saw Representative Hartzler on the floor of the House just now, and they're talking about border security. And are you or her familiar with Article 4, Section 4 of our Constitution? Uh, let me give you to our press secretary just a moment. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, name, hi. Uh, who am I speaking with? My name is Steve Walsh. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. Um, I, I just saw uh, Representative Hartzler on the floor of the House, and I'm okay. calling from Representative Louis Gohmert's district in East Texas, uh, and it's about border security. Yes. And I'm just, for the life of me, I can't understand why nobody has mentioned Article 4, Section 4 of our Constitution. Okay, it's seven words okay. from 232 years ago, handwritten and preserved in the National Archives, says, shall protect each state against invasion. And, you know, we're using all these excuses about the government shutdown and this and that and different, you know, I've heard the 14th Amendment and Article 1, Section 9, and all this other stuff. But we have the reason, it seems to me, our federal government was formed was predominantly to have a common defense. Well, absolutely. So, I certainly... Well, she may have said that. Now, I, I have not... Um, I, I've been on the phone, so I have not heard any of what she said. Now, yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I, with anybody else that, I, but, gar uh, I guarantee you she has it. I did a search of C-SPAN archives. Sure. And, and besides me getting on in a call in, there was one guy in 2009 that mentioned it. Well, I, I, I mean, it's not a, I, I, I not know the reference when you mentioned, you know, whatever someone calls and says, you know, Article 643.35, I don't know any of that. Right. But when, when you mentioned definitely, <laughs> I have heard that before, the idea of protecting the states from invasion. Right. Uh, now, yeah. I've definitely heard people talk about that. Right. Now, as for when and where, I couldn't tell you that off the top of my head, but I've heard it before for sure. Yeah, it was uh, 1787, and the first part of that. No, no, I mean, I mean, recent. No, no, I, yeah. I, no, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I mean, I mean, during this current debate. Right. I don't mean today. When I say current debate, I don't mean the last four hours activity. I mean, <laughs> I mean the debate that's been going on for the past uh, uh, two long? months. <laughs> And it's driving me nuts because yeah. I did see Michelle Mockin on Fox mention it. And I might have seen her mention it as well. Yes. Just one time, one time. And then I, uh, Alan West came to East Texas for a Young Republicans thing, and I guilted in him into saying something the following Saturday on Fox, even though he uh, botched it up. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. It's uh, the first. There's 20 words on the first two segments of that sentence, and it's it, it's guarantee a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion. So, you know, and we're missing up that Republican form of government too, because well, we haven't exactly. Well, I, I mean, we we've got a lot of problems. No question about that. Yeah. And the issue we have here with uh, with with people coming into our country and we're not we're not really doing a whole lot to stop it well um, yeah we don't have we don't have enough time to assimilate them especially when we catch and release and and then they're just out there so anyway but here she is again on on c-span and i would i would appreciate it if you might just highlight article four section four i will do that thank you so much for calling okay thank you Appreciate it. Take yeah, care. yeah. Bye-bye.